around the globe, venomous creatures surround the race. The seas are filling with these billions of creatures, swarms that can choke an entire ecosystem and drive out other forms of life. Some weigh over 400 pounds, while others are barely visible. Wondrous and elegant, they have no bones, no heart, no blood, and no brain. But, but that, that doesn't, doesn't stop a few from, from inflicting expression pain and even killing me. The venom is a blessing, causing severe blessing, and possibly destroying the heart. A deadly jellyfish venom contains two components. One can kill 70% of the heart, and the other one can destroy the entire heart. Approximately around 150 million people get stung by the back of the fish around the world. In Australia alone, there are up to 10,000 reported stings every year. Philippines report an annual death of 20 to 40 people in the oceans around in there. There were 19 million people are treated annually for killing the stings around the world. The gigantic Nimura jellyfish will mysteriously appear in the East Asian seas once every 40 years. However, when the turn of the century has become an annual event, that means it occurs almost every year. They lay down and damage fishing nets, and the toxins sting fish and make the fish invisible. This is from margin of giant jellyfish in the Sea of Japan typically total hundreds of millions of dollars during a single bloom season. They have shut down nuclear reactors and choke desalination plants around the world. Jellyfish are stinging beach goers and causing millions of dollars worth of damage. It is difficult to get rid of these giant pills whenever they feel under attack, or threatened, or even dying. Nomura jellyfish releases billions of sperms and eggs and grow into jellyfish millions at a time. The flow and runoff containing fertilizers and sewage into coastal waters promotes the growth of tiny plankton which provides food for the jellyfish and influence them to reproduce. High levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere are causing the ocean's acidity levels to rise, creating inhospitable conditions for shellfish and coral reefs, leaving jellyfish the last man standing. Fewer numbers of fish means less competition for the jellyfish and fishing nets is killing off large number of fishes. Sea turtles are the most common predators of jellies, so when they are decreasing, Chilies are increasing. The rising water temperatures increase the rate of polyp reproduction and speed their development into free swimming jellyfish. <laughs>